Welcome to Susan's Garden. Today I'm going to show you the Anthurium, which is one of my favorite flowers and was actually in the bouquet of my oldest daughter's wedding several years ago when she was wed on Maui. It's actually one of those flowers that almost doesn't look real. It's got a very shiny surface and I had to actually touch one and feel it because I thought it was silk or plastic. But nature actually produces it like that and you can too. Let's start with the pieces. They're cut on the thinlet dies and all the pieces come in the seed packet as shown. We're going to place the larger petal, which is the complete flower, on the molding mat. This is in with our toolkit. And using the large ball stylus, begin by shaping the cardstock. And don't be afraid to really press on it and give it um, some texture and um, reshaping the form, as you can see. Now for a little bit um, closer lines, I'll actually switch to one of the loop tools. And I'm going to start with the large looping tool. And I'm going to just start pressing out, as shown here, and just molding the paper and getting it to shape the way the flower shapes. And after I've done that a few times, I'm going to transfer it here to my leaf pad because I want to give it that, as you can see on this finished one, that definition of that center line. So I'm going to place it face down on my leaf pad and using the leaf tool, just press down and stroke down the center. You'll see that line come up on you. And then you can take your tweezers and we're going to pinch that pointy end together. And while holding that pinch, if you take your tweezers, and this just takes a little bit of patience, but go around and you're going to just bend the outer part of the petal. And we'll keep doing that till you've got, got it shaped like the piece I have here. Now that's the beginning of your flower. What you see in, in the center is this spanix that um, is such a definite part of the flower. And I've created that with this piece here. And again, I'm going to switch to a smaller um, ball, um, stylus ball on the mat and shape the piece. I'm actually going to take maybe the loop tool and, and drag it down a little bit. Now we're going to take our tweezers and grabbing one end, you're going to roll it till you get the cone shape. And I have one right here already done. Um, once that cone shape is done, the next thing is adding it to the flower. And I'm going to use my glue. And I've added a little bit to the area here because this glue dries very quickly. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually paint a little bit of glue on it. Because I want to add some texture and I've got a product that I'm calling pollen that's done by Woodland Scenics. And if you can see my box here, I'm going to roll it into the yellow just to give it that texture. See if I can put it on the mat here. And that's what you can see up close that I've done to this one. Now I would place this piece on my project or in this case, um, we'll set it here and then I would add the Spanix to the, the piece. So if we can do that really quickly, we're going to add a little bit of glue to the, the mat. Pretend this is your lovely project that you have as a keepsake. Press down here a little bit. And then I'm going to dip that piece right into the glue and then I'm going to add it right in the center where the heart comes together. We're going to hold that up a bit in place and let it set. Now to get that shine that I've gotten on this one, I've used a product called Glass Effects by Viva Decor. It, it dries really quickly and by just adding um, it right onto your flower and I just give it a squeeze and then I've used just a cosmetic piece here and rubbed it on because when it finishes drying in about 10 minutes, you're going to get that beautiful shine that you got on the finished flower. So let's just put this aside and you can see this one here. Now to do the leaves, these leaves, as you can see on this project here, have uh, just a single stem line down the center. So I'm going to place it on my 
my leaf pad and then I'm going to switch to my leaf tool here and I'm placing it face down so if this is my right side I'm going to place that face down on the leaf pad and just stroking down the center line I've created a stem line. Now to really accentuate this I'm going to bend it in half and then I'm going to use the pan pastels. If you take a, the chalk line and just go right down the center when you open it up you see how nice that has accentuated the stem line. So then I just have to take and pinch it and then bend out the center. I'm going to just drag the leaf through the glue and just slide it under my, my project. Always put your flower in place and then tuck your leaves underneath. It gives a nice finished look and you've got a beautiful flower to display.